On the walls of a Logan pizza place, you'll find murals. Very fun to create. With Matteo Rueda's signature, a passion of his that, for the last year and a half, he expressed. I love teaching. Through teaching at Lincoln Elementary. But earlier this month, during a color study project, we used some materials from the school um, that were there in the library. Those school owned materials, he explains, eight boxes filled with 100 postcards each depicting various paintings, including paintings like these. I was surprised about this. Uh, them, uh, those images being there. He says he pulled out what inappropriate images he could find when the students came to class. Mr. Mateo explained to us that there might be some pictures that we will find uncomfortable. And as fifth grader Bella explains, he encouraged students to turn in any images they didn't like. There were some pictures that were like a little weird and like most most kids are like laughing. But some kids were uh, expressing their, their discomfort and then and, 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 and explaining that they felt it was inappropriate. Mr. Mateo says he told the class images made part of history. They were they are icons. A few days later Ruetta found out parents had complained to the school and a parent called the police. So the school let him go. I was super upset when I heard that he got fired. The Images that he showed the children were provided by the school district. I just feel like this has just been blown way out of proportion. While Bella's mom feels that way, another parent told me off camera she wasn't happy with how Ruetta handled his explanation with the kids. Ruetta says he's bewildered by the situation. Who knows if I can be hired back? And unsure of how to move forward. The Cache County Sheriff's Office says they closed the case and did not file charges. Lincoln Elementary's principal could not comment and told me to call the school district next week. Retta says he hopes to appeal the decision. Live in studio, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News.